Hi, everyone. I recently was the main presenter at the RMNDT course in Melbourne, and I wanted to share a story about um, something that happened leading up to the NDT course. So I'm not a natural at this, like Casal, but I'll do my best. Uh, so two days before the course, uh, one of the participants actually called the clinic asking to speak to me as they knew I was the main presenter. Uh, they wanted to know if it was worth coming onto the course. Was it worth, um, you know, putting the time and effort into coming to a one-day course to learn uh, neurodynamic testing, even if they, you know, weren't intending or didn't have plans to sort of continue ongoing RM training. Um, yeah, and I wanted to just share what we talked about so that anyone who was considering any courses, I mean, this might answer some questions that you might have or maybe some doubts. I was really happy that this participant called me because if you can imagine normally someone who has doubts about a course they don't know anything about or um, they're unsure of, I think most people probably wouldn't go out of their way to call the main presenter and sort of talk to them about it. So I was really happy to have this opportunity to explain or, you know, sort of share why I was thinking that it was important, why I was um, taking my time to teach it as well. So I guess what uh, we talked about in terms of what the NDT course could give you even if you, regardless of continuing RM, ongoing, uh, it really provides um, something extra to what we already know. I guess in university, we sort of touch on it. Nerves are a part of the body. They sort of teach you some neurodynamic or nerve testing, but it was sort of just glossed over. Like, I think the amount of time actually spent on it um, you know, minuscule compared to how much time we spend uh, learning and developing our skills for muscles and joints, which is a bit strange to think about. If you think about the body, what systems make up your body, nerves are central to that. They are a whole system in itself, but we just sort of gloss over it. And so what I really uh, wanted to share with this participant was what this course can give you, regardless of anything else, is the ability to assess and treat a whole other system of the body. One we know about already, but isn't looked at all that often. A major system of the body skimmed over in uni. You can sort of learn about it and use it in your everyday practice immediately. Um, yeah, so I guess that's sort of where I come from. Even if you don't uh, continue with the whole process, what this course can give you is it opens up a whole other avenue, a whole other dimension which you can see with your clients, um, assess and treat, and how much it contributes to their problems. I guess you won't know until you look for it. Uh, for me, you know, why I wanted to teach it and why I'm saying, you know, to this participant, I think it's worth your time. Um, you know, the nervous system is important and important things should come first. And so, yeah, that's sort of what I really highlighted for the person who called me up. I was really happy to sort of share my experiences with it. You know, regardless of what else you do, if you're seeing people, they've got nerves you can sort of do something about it. And so, yeah, I wanted to share that with, um, I guess, anyone else who is thinking about, you know, or having these similar doubts about the NDT course or any other further sort of RM learning. There is, um, you know, there are certainly uh, domains where it will be useful to you immediately uh, with your clients now, even if you, don't end up going with the whole RM process.
there's still a lot you can get out of it. I'd really encourage you to sort of look into it more. Or, as this participant did, if you still have doubts, do call someone up and talk to them about it, like the people running the course. Uh, I know a lot of the RMCPs, we're open to that. We love talking about what we do and sharing why we do it. So I think if you have the opportunity to speak to someone in person, that's the best way. Thanks. That's just all I wanted to